guys. I'm finally getting my roots done. Who starts off just like not even saying hello? Me. That's how hyped I am. Hello. Literally driving an hour and some change to my hair appointment. Let me put my glasses on because it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Well, low-key sunny. So, anyway, I have waited. I have been a good patient client slash friend slash human being that postponed everything I had to do during quarantina. Ain't she a bee? She is such a bee. To not get my hair done. I should have been had these roots done three times minimum. Three times minimum. If I remember correctly, I had my hair done like right before my birthday, which is February 12th. Today is June 19th. Juneteenth, happy Juneteenth to everybody. Do your research if you don't know what that is. Um, yes, yeah, so, should I open this? Nope. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm finally going. Anyway, like four minutes later. I know it's like a first world problem. I know that I'm very fortunate to just be able to like only have to worry about my hair. And I'm really worried about it. I'm grateful that I've been healthy and everything this whole time and employed and paying my bills and all the all the important life things but I just want to put it out there that this countdown has been on and popping to the point where people people who know me they know like damn nay like even I got my hair done already or whatever like why don't you just do it yourself like when you have been platinum bleached to the root for as many years as I have and the integrity of my hair is to the point that it is for doing what I'm doing like you just you don't want to mess that kind of stuff up you know what I'm saying so I had to work a, a half day today up in my office so um yeah I'll probably my appointment is in about 45 minutes eh, a little a little more than that um so I will probably be there from like 3 p.m. like all night. I'll probably just be eating dinner in there. Poor Skylar, my stylist. She um, she is gonna be working on this wig for all night practically. What a great Friday night. This is like the third week that we've been back. I've been back. So um, yeah, I was like maybe I'll kind of vlog a little bit about if you know as much as I can I gotta respect my office and my patients I won't put anybody on camera but just kind of see what it is that you know we gotta go through and I promise you like Fridays we don't normally work Fridays you know I like to work I work hard I don't have no kids I don't have no other like outside responsibilities like other than this is the time in my life when I feel like I should really be making the most coins so I'm like, I'll work. What else am I going to do if I'm not, not at work? Like, if I don't have a plan, plans to do anything, like, it, it's cool for me to work. But it is, like, so physically taxing that um, the, the job that I do, that I do have to, like, slow down and chill. But with that being said, we kind of took it upon ourselves to work a few Fridays to catch up with all the 700 cancellations that we had, over 700 only for the month of June and half day and I promise you we we went in thinking like Fridays will be straightforward easy like but no for some reason it's like I got every Karen scheduled in my op today I'm like <laughs> and then I left the office and read that Mercury's in retrograde I'm like or or is it is upon us and I'm like oh so this was just the tip of the iceberg no wonder because I, when I tell you that like five of the six patients that I had were all Karens I'm like who dropped off the can I talk to your manager bus because today was like <laughs> rough I was looking at the clock like don't you know it's root touch up day <laughs> I don't need this type of energy it is what it is. 
So, anyway, I am. Uh, there's so many cars. Like, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm so confused where everybody's going. Well, it is Friday and it's Father's Day. Never mind, y'all. Do you? Oh, you going camping? All right. And that's the Amazon. And the rest of these people are probably just trying to go home. But, um,. Hopefully, you know, with the salon protocols now, hopefully uh, they'll be cool. I was thinking I could kind of, I feel like this is going to be quite the transformation on these nappy roots, if you know what I'm saying. So, I was thinking I would, like, if she would be cool, if they would be cool um, to film a little bit of the process, and then maybe I could, um, you know, insert some clips for y'all, because, ciao. I'm going to be there. not tonight but tomorrow I'm gonna hit these roots with some purple shampoo because that was a lot of regrowth that we had to we had to do we did a little bit of a different toner today just because usually my hair will get very purple um just it really likes the purple toner and shampoo and whatever I put in it so it will absorb so yes I am back she is back Bam, 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 bam. I think this is the street I need to turn on. So extra. Oh, that's where that barbershop is? Blends. That makes sense. I see that place on Instagram all the time. Now I know where it is. Not that, not that you know, I need a fade or anything. <laughs> Woo! I'm actually pleasantly surprised that, uh, I was out of there in two and a half hours, like 2.45, just like, um, no, two and a half because we got a late start. Just like a normal retouch. I just thought it was going to be like double the amount of time, but she knows what she's doing. <laughs> um, now I'm going to go stop by my friend's house real quick. Mm, mm, mm. She has some products for me. She did some renovations to her house, so now I can't stop touching my hair. You guys have no idea. <sighs> when you're platinum, it's just, it's, it's probably like the one high maintenance thing about me that I just will continue to do. It's funny because my uh, girlfriend that does my hair, she like, she used to do a ton of platinums and then you know it's just not for everybody like as far as the clientele goes like not everybody's meant to be a platinum a lot of times people that want to be platinum should it be platinum or they don't take care of it or whatever you know you guys have seen you know what i'm talking about the people that are blonde that you're that are just 
fried. Anyway, um, so she, uh, she's actually like a curly cut specialist. So, and I obviously have pin straight hair and I'm platinum to the root, which is like opposite of the 95 percentile. The 95 percentile? The 95 percent of her clientele. Anyway, so it's always like funny to see me and then like all her other natural curly girls. But I keep going. It works for me. We got it down. We got a system. So anyways, I am like literally booked every five weeks until the end of the year on her schedule. I'm like, if this shit comes back in the fall and winter, like you're coming to my house, girl, with your Lysol and your freaking face mask. Like the bleach on my roots will kill whatever's going on in the world. Not cool. Not really, but yes. So that's it, y'all. You got to see the transformation. Crazy how much regrowth I had. Just like it's cool to see that my hair grew that much. Um, and then how yellow it is without any toner. And then yeah, this is like literally just. Am I going the right way? Ooh.